Welcome back. Today we're going to show you an easy way to propagate plants. We're going to propagate these perennial cucumber vines via cutting and we want uh, two uh, places for them to grow. So right from the roots and from, from the top. So we're going to cut it so that we have uh, two nodes at either end. So if I cut this vine down here, I will have enough to get two cuttings off of this piece right here. We have our vines now and we'll cut them into proper cutting size pieces. This one already has roots on it. Does that mean that it will, uh, we should do something special with it? Yeah, that'll, that'll go right away. <laughs> That's great. That was touching the ground. Mm -hmm. Now we'll plant them. Okay. That wasn't awkward. You want to do it again? No. No, we keep it very real on this channel. So all you got to do is get your hands filthy. I already soaked this potting soil here, so as Rachel plants these, the ground is moist. Sometimes potting soil gets really dry and then you know you know how it gets. It doesn't want to soak up water and you want this good and moist for And rooting. there's a scientific name for that, which you want to know in case you're ever on Jeopardy or what's that other one? Trivial Pursuit or whatever it is? What's, what's that one mind? where they dress in the crazy outfits like bones in their hair and stuff? I saw it and they had this old truck and then they had the broccoli, the purse made of broccoli. Oh, I don't remember. I was in the name. hospital watching it. So what's the word? What's the word for how much That's, water it holds? No, the, when it's very dry and it doesn't want to take any more water. Oh, it's that the same. It's the same word that uh, you use to describe rabies. It's hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. There you go. There's your word for the day. Impress, I guess you could say you like impress someone. Like cells, when cells do not have enough moisture in them, they're crenated. It's true. You, they have to go to the crematorium. See, see, there's a bud coming up right there. Yeah, bud's go up. And so you take the leaves, you take it. Take the bottom leaf bottom off. Bottom leaf off. And stick it in. And you're not worrying about rooting hormone or anything. Not with these. Uh, we could, we could use rooting hormone, but it's not really necessary. What sort of things would you do this method with? But you would use. If I was going to do something a little touchier, like say I was going to um, try to root a uh, chaste tree or uh, maybe fig cuttings. Sometimes you can just ram fig cuttings in the ground though. But uh, something that I want that, that doesn't root super easy. These things root so easily that they're a class one non-native invasive species in some states. Because when they till them under every little piece of it starts to root into the ground and makes a big problem. Which makes it really great when you're talking about a vegetable. So what are we saying? It's hard to kill. This is great for people who... Right. Who, oh, I can't that grow That was the wrong one. Was there one here? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't watching. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave that bottom leaf on. You wanted to be able to photosynthesize a little bit. <gasps> There's another big word. At this point, you're probably thinking, what's new? Uh, this is pretty straightforward. There's a secret coming though. Now we've got our plants in here and we're going to, oh, there's an extra. Anyhow, uh, 
We are gonna create little mini greenhouses for these plants in each little pot, and we'll show you how to do that. Each pot gets a stick in the middle, and a plastic bag on top that goes down over the rim of the can. The bag holds it up, and then a rubber band over the bag to the edge of the can there. And what we've done is we've created a little greenhouse. It will keep all the moisture in. It will create the perfect little environment for the roots to start growing in this moist little greenhouse, really, for our, our perennial cucumbers that we're hoping to propagate. Every couple of days or so, you might want to take the bag off, blow into it, give the plants a little more carbon dioxide. But it's not strictly necessary. This is really a great, almost foolproof method for propagating things, even, even things that have been pain in the neck, hard things to propagate via cutting. We've been wowed that they, that they worked with this method. David actually propagated lemons on our windowsill using this method once. So there you go. This is very scientific. You want to make sure you use the very best in broken garden sticks and the very best in old rusty metal cans or you won't get the proper rustic effect because we're all about appearance here. Now once you have these in their nice little greenhouses, do not leave them in the sun. They will cook, they'll roast. You'll have roasted dead plants that aren't gonna propagate. So leave them in the, in the shade and they should do fine. I hope you enjoyed this gardening tip. Uh, it, when we discovered it, it was really revolutionary for us, so I really hope that it works well for you. And if, if it does, let us know. That would be fantastic to hear from you. We always love hearing how things work out for other gardeners. It's encouraging and it's, it's exciting and it gets everybody all excited and wanting to get out there and get gardening. Again this year, Marjorie Wildcraft has asked David to present in the Homegrown Food Summit. That's a week-long presentation of all of these gardeners and homesteaders, Marjorie herself, Jeff Lawton, uh, Paul Wheaton has presented in the past, honestly. I'm not sure if he's doing it again. Yes, he is. Okay. And uh, Joel Salatin, um, Justin Rhodes, um, lots of other people whose names I cannot remember right now, but there are like 38 of them. It's great. So uh, it's all free. It's a full week long, lots of really good information, uh, and so you can sign up for that through the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David, David the Good. We listened to Portis Head. And drank spiced rum He threw me off the ramp And broke my foot And broke my wheelchair All in good fun Stick in the cute finds is totally legit. A bunch of plants that we're sure to get. Pregnant chicks teaching propagation. That's so real, going back to creation. Even the garden should have dodged that snake. But now she's drinking up a soy shake. Too bad the gal took the bait from Satan instead of staying home and propagating. Uh, Cocinia grandis. So we got.
the grandest cucumber that you're ever gonna find. And I've got them, they're all 